So the learning is about an empty cup. Once upon a time, there was a young man named Koji who was eager to learn about Zen enlightenment. He had read many books on the subject and had even practiced meditation on his own, but he felt that he needed a teacher who could guide him on the right path. He had heard of a famous Zen master named Takashi who lived in a remote temple on the top of a mountain, and he decided to seek him out. After a long journey, Koji arrived at the temple, which was surrounded by a lush forest and a babbling brook. He was greeted by a bald-headed monk who asked him his name and purpose. Koji introduced himself and said that he wanted to study with Takashi. The monk nodded and led Koji to a simple room with a tatami mat and a wooden table. He told him to wait there while he went to inform the master of his arrival. Koji felt excited and nervous at the same time, wondering what kind of person Takashi was and what he could teach him. After a while, the monk returned and said that Takashi would see Koji now. Koji stood up and followed the monk through a series of corridors and gardens until they reached a large hall with sliding doors and paper screens. The monk opened the doors and gestured for Koji to enter. Koji saw Takashi sitting on a cushion in front of a low table, with his eyes closed and his hands folded on his lap. He wore a simple robe and had a serene expression on his face. Koji bowed respectfully and said, Good morning, Master. My name is Koji, and I have come to learn about Zen enlightenment. Takashi opened his eyes and looked at Koji with a kind but penetrating gaze. He said nothing for a while, but just studied Koji's face and body language. Koji felt a bit uneasy under his scrutiny, but he tried to remain calm and attentive. Finally, Takashi spoke. Welcome, Koji. I am Takashi, the master of this temple. I hear that you are eager to learn about Zen enlightenment. Is that correct? Koji nodded eagerly. Yes, master. I have read many books on the subject and have even practiced meditation on my own, but I feel that I need a teacher who can guide me on the right path. I have come a long way to seek your guidance. Takashi smiled faintly. I see. Well, before we can begin your training, I would like to ask you a question. Are you willing to answer it truthfully? Koji felt a bit surprised by the question, but he said, Of course, Master. I will do my best to answer truthfully. Takashi nodded. Very well. Here is my question. What do you know about Zen enlightenment? Koji felt a bit puzzled by the question, as he had expected Takashi to teach him, not to test him. Nevertheless, he tried to give an honest answer. Well, Master, I know that Zen enlightenment is a state of awareness and clarity that transcends dualistic thinking and attachment. It is the realization of our true nature and the unity of all things. It is said to be attainable through meditation, mindfulness and detachment from worldly desires. Takashi nodded again. That is a good answer, Koji. But let me ask you another question. How do you know all that? Koji felt a bit embarrassed by the question, as he realized that he had not really experienced Zen enlightenment himself, but had just read and heard about it. Nevertheless, he tried to defend himself. Well, Master, I have studied many books on Zen and have attended some lectures and workshops. I have authored knowledge and information about Zen enlightenment, and I have also practiced meditation on my own. I believe that I have a good understanding of the theory and the techniques of Zen practice. Takashi nodded again, but this time his smile faded. I see. So you think that you know about Zen enlightenment because you have read books and attended lectures? Koji felt a bit defensive now, as he sensed that Takashi was not impressed by his answers. Well, Master, I have tried to apply the teachings in my own life, and I have made some progress. I have learned to control my thoughts and emotions, and to be more present and mindful in everyday situations. I believe that I have some degree of enlightenment. Takashi shook his head. No, Koji, you don't have enlightenment. You have just a cup full of opinions and knowledge, but no space for real understanding and wisdom. You think that you know everything already, but in fact you know nothing. Koji felt a bit stunned by Takashi's words, which seemed harsh and discouraging. He had not expected to be criticized so severely by his potential teacher. He felt a bit angry and frustrated now, as he thought that he had wasted his time and energy on a futile quest. Takashi seemed to sense Koji's mood, and he decided to change his approach. He stood up and walked to a nearby cabinet, where he took out a teapot and a cup. He filled the cup with hot tea and offered it to Koji. Here, Koji, have some tea, it's hot and fresh. Drink it slowly and savor the taste and the aroma. 
Koji felt a bit puzzled by Takashi's gesture, as he had not expected to be offered tea at this point. Nevertheless, he accepted the cup and took a sip. The tea was indeed hot and fresh, with a delicate flavour and a subtle scent. He felt a bit relaxed and refreshed by the drink. Takashi observed Koji's reaction and smiled. Good, isn't it? This is a special tea that I have made from the leaves of a rare plant. It takes a long time to prepare and it has a unique taste and quality. Do you want some more? Koji nodded, feeling curious and grateful. He drank more tea, and Takashi refilled his cup every time he finished. Koji felt a bit surprised by Takashi's generosity, as he had expected him to criticize him further, or to lecture him about Zen. As Koji drank more tea, he noticed something strange happening. The cup seemed to fill up and overflow, but Takashi kept pouring more tea as if he didn't notice or care. Koji felt a bit alarmed by the situation, as he thought that the tea would spill and stain the table and the floor. He tried to warn Takashi, but the master just smiled and said, Don't worry, Koji. The cup is not full yet. Keep drinking and you will see. Koji felt a bit puzzled by Takashi's words, but he kept drinking anyway. He felt a bit anxious and uncomfortable, as the cup was now really overflowing, and the tea was spilling on his lap and the floor. Finally, Koji could not take it anymore, and he shouted, Stop, master, stop pouring! The cup is full and the tea is spilling! Takashi stopped pouring and looked at Koji with a kind but firm gaze. Good, Koji. You have learned an important lesson. The cup is a symbol of your mind and your heart. If it is full of opinions and knowledge, there is no space for real understanding and wisdom. You must empty your cup and make room for new insights and experiences. Only then can you truly learn and grow. Koji felt a bit ashamed and embarrassed by his previous arrogance and ignorance. He realized that he had been so focused on proving himself to be knowledgeable and wise that he had overlooked the most important aspect of Zen practice, humility and openness. He bowed deeply to Takashi and said, Thank you, Master, for showing me the true meaning of Zen. I was so blind and foolish to think that I knew everything. Please teach me more and help me to become a true student of Zen. Takashi smiled and nodded. Of course, Koji, I will guide you on your path to enlightenment, but you must remember this lesson always. Keep your cup empty, and your mind and heart open. <laughs>